So there are a whole bunch of ways that computer scientists are trying to use artificial intelligence to help uh, fight the COVID-19 pandemic. And one example is a possible new way to use artificial intelligence to diagnose COVID-19 in chest x-rays. So when a patient is admitted to the hospital with a possible case of COVID-19, doctors will take chest x-rays to look for signs of the virus in the patient's lungs. And there are some characteristic signs of COVID-19 that can show up in the lungs, but sometimes these signs can be kind of subtle. And so it can be difficult for doctors or radiologists to make an accurate diagnosis. So to solve this problem, computer scientists are developing artificial intelligence programs that can help doctors accurately diagnose COVID-19 using chest x-rays. And one example is COVIDnet. And COVIDnet is a type of artificial intelligence called a neural network. And neural networks are really good at recognizing patterns. And they're actually kind of based on the neural networks in our brains. And so the type of neural network that COVIDnet is based on is particularly good at recognizing images, pictures. Um, so it could work well for recognizing patterns in something like an x-ray. But neural networks need to be trained to identify the thing that you want them to recognize. And to see how this works, instead of our neural network trying to identify signs of a virus, let's look at a simpler example. Um, and imagine that our neural network is just trying to identify a picture of a dog. Now it takes this picture of a dog and it splits it up into a whole bunch of little sections, just a few pixels at a time. And now we can zoom in on just a few of these little pixel patches, but let's imagine that the computer is doing this for every single patch of pixels. Now we can ask our neural network to check for more and more complicated pieces of this picture. So we can start with something simple like just edges. And so the neural network, will check for edges and when it sees a certain type of edge that pathway lights up. So then we can say well do any of these edges add up to maybe a shape like a circle or a triangle. And when we have all that information we can see do any of these shapes and edges add up to a feature like an eye or a nose. And finally we can have our neural network use all of that information to try to figure out if this is a picture of a dog or not a dog. But the first time that we show the neural network um, our picture of a dog, it's not gonna do very well because it doesn't actually know what a dog is yet. It's just kind of guessing. So it's, it's, sometimes it's gonna get it wrong. And so when it gets it wrong, that wrong signal is sent back through the network. And then by showing the neural network lots and lots and lots of examples of the thing we want it to recognize and correcting it every time it's wrong, the neural network can learn to really accurately identify what is a dog and what is not a dog. And this is pretty much how COVIDnet learned. These scientists developed an image database called COVIDx and they used it to train COVIDnet. So the image database is made up of over 16,000 chest x-rays from over 13,000 patients. And so by showing COVIDnet lots and lots and lots of these x-rays, some that had COVID-19 and some that didn't, and correcting it every time that it's wrong, then COVIDnet is able to learn to identify those sometimes really subtle um, signs of COVID-19. But it's not perfect. When um, they tested COVIDnet, they found that it was able to identify COVID-19 in 80% of the confirmed COVID-19 chest x-rays. So that means that it missed the virus 20% of the time. So they're still working on this AI program and they say it's not yet ready for widespread use. But they did make the COVIDnet program and the COVIDx image database freely available to the public so that other researchers can use it and try to help them improve it. 
Now, these artificial intelligence programs like COVIDnet aren't meant to replace other types of diagnostic tools like um, nasal and throat swabs, but they could be really useful in hospitals where there aren't enough doctors or radiologists on staff to analyze all of these chest x-rays that they have. So if they can get it to work, these types of automated programs could be another useful tool for our amazing healthcare workers who are out there fighting the pandemic and saving lives.